And it's such a pleasure to meet you. Thank you so much for coming in uh, today. Has it sunk in yet? Thanks very much. It hasn't sunk in at all. It's just a bit surreal. Yeah. I bet. It's I been a very hectic few days, so it's a lot to take in. I still haven't had a chance to process what a life-changing moment it was. But it's been such an amazing experience. Yeah, yeah, it's going to take a while to sink in. Um, the celebrations after, what were they like? Did you get to party with any of the judges? Well, after my semi-final win, I went back to the hotel, tripped up and fell. So this time I managed to stay upright all night. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Which was an improvement. <laughs> yes. I just went back to the hotel bar with all the other finalists as well as my family and friends and had a great night. Oh, brilliant. All the finalists were really lovely people, so it was nice to hang out with them after the show. Yeah, but it was, I bet. And what's amazing about what you do is that um, it's, it's, it's almost you can go where no one else can go. You can do comedy that no one else can. And so, so I mean, that is refreshing humour. Yes, I get away with it more because I base it on myself. I think it helps to deal with the elephant in the room and joking about my disability because it puts the audience at ease a bit more. Mm. It's almost as if the awkwardness everyone feels makes it even funnier when they realize they can laugh about it. Yeah. For example, I always tell people that I'm a struggling stand-up comedian who also struggles to stand up. <laughs> and if they don't laugh at the disabled guy, they'll go to hell. <laughs> That always makes people relax a bit more. Mm. Yeah, I bet. yeah, I bet it does. It's very funny. Do, do you, have you always been so comfortable with telling jokes about your disability? I'm very comfortable joking about disability. I think taking the mick out of my condition has helped me cope with things a lot. Mm. If I didn't laugh about things, then I'd most definitely cry. Mm. I think anything can be joked about, if you handle the subject correctly. Yeah. I've also got 37 years of material to work with. <laughs> um, yep. Alicia said that uh, it was not only well-deserved, but inspirational. So do you see yourself um, as, a, as a role model for other people with disabilities? I never started to do stand-up comedy to be an inspiration. I just did it because I thought it would be good fun. But I appreciate that some people see me as an inspiration for getting up on stage. And if that encourages other people to follow their dreams, then that's a good thing. Only when we see more disabled people on television will some of the stigma about disability be taken away. It's very important for people to see disabled people in a more positive light. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And you have got, coming up, the most incredible platform. You are uh, going to perform now in front of Her Majesty the Queen. So uh, have you worked out the gags and jokes that you've got up your sleeve for her? I have some surprises up my sleeve for the Royal Variety performance. I just hope the Queen likes my jokes. Or I might end up in the Tower of London. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, good luck to you and just enjoy every moment, won't you? Thank you very much. No, it's oh, just brilliant. You. It's a real pleasure to meet you. Yeah, it really thank is. You, well done. Thank you. Well and done. I can't wait to see you uh, I know. on stage. That's exactly. A, what a platform that will be. You are, you are amazing.